Hi everyone. Um, I want to start the lesson on echo. Now, I'm skipping frequency and loudness for the time being. Um, that one I will do it when I'm back in class. Uh, so go to the page on echo. So now, what exactly is an echo? Well, an echo simply means that when a sound wave travel, it hits a surface and then the sound wave is reflected back. So echo is also known as, uh, echo is actually the reflection of sound. So when, just like how light is reflected when it hits a surface, so when sound hits a surface, it gets reflected. Well, when we say something and if the sound hits a wall and come back, we may or may not hear an echo. Uh, later on, you can actually watch a video and you will know what is the reason why. Sometimes you may hear an echo, sometimes you, and most of the time actually, uh, you do not hear an echo, even though we know that sound is reflected from different parts of um, the room. So let's look at some of the application for echo. Now, uh, the application for echo is also known as sonar. Okay, so sonar basically means that you send a sound wave and uh, when the sound wave uh, is reflected, you make use of this reflection to do some, uh, you make use of this uh, reflection, okay, in applications. So the uh, application of echo is also known as sonar in case you see this word. So one of the application in your notes, as you can see, uh, is when a ship, transmit an ultrasound to the seabed and when the seabed uh, reflects the sound, the ship will have a detector to detect the reflected sound. So a transducer means this is uh, where the ultrasound is produced and then the sound will go down, hit the seabed and it will be detected. So when so why do we send uh, why, why do we send ultrasound uh, to the seabed? Well, that can actually tell us what is the depth of the sea and if uh, there is fish and the sound wave hits the fish and come back, we will be able to then detect where the fish is. So you find that the fishing ship doesn't need to cast the net and just wait for you know good luck uh, and hope that there are, there are fish. Uh, what happens is when they use ultrasound, they can detect the image, and they know that from the reflected sound, they know that uh, whether there is fish or not, uh, then they just stop and cast the net when there are uh, fish around. Um, the sound wave that they trap that they use for this purpose is ultrasound. So what are ultrasound? If you have done your holiday homework, you will know that ultrasound are basically sound that has a frequency that is more than 20,000 hertz. We will talk more about frequency um, in the next lesson. But basically, ultrasound has this frequency that our ears cannot detect. But if we make use of ordinary sound, uh, it will not be able to penetrate so uh, deeply into the sea. So for sonar uh, used here, the sound wave is uh, ultrasound, a high frequency sound. So what are the other applications? Well, if you were to replace... Um, the sea, <laughs> this is like a pregnant woman, the big tummy, and, um, oops, sorry. And this is, um, sorry, I'll just draw another one. So this is the, the scanner, maybe it's a link to a television, oh, sorry, link to a monitor. So um, what a doctor does when the doctor wants to, um, monitor the development of the fetus is to use ultrasound scanning. So we are all familiar with this term, ultrasound scanning. Actually, not just for fetus, uh, we also use it to scan our internal organs as well. So basically, what happens is the ultrasound uh, is transmitted into the mother's womb. So it will hit the fetus and then the sound bounces back. Of course, um, this uh, machine is able to transmit and also detect the ultrasound. So from this, uh, they will be able to then see 
an image of the fetus. Okay? And because our flesh and our bone absorb ultrasound um, differently, so you will see patches where, um, you know, it may be darker. So that's the bone and then other part that may be the flesh. So because um, the flesh and bone absorb ultrasound differently, so the amount that's reflected is also different. And so this is used in ultrasound scanning uh, to scan for, uh, to, to monitor fetus development. So, monitor fetus development. Uh, please do not, sorry, maybe I'll just put monitor fetus development. Um, please do not say uh, scam babies or very vague uh, terms when we ask you for the application. All right. Um, in the nature, uh, animals also use a lot of, um, also make use of sauna. So, like a bat, we say that a bat, we say that a bat is blind, but a bat will not fly into you. Well, the bat is unable to see, but it more than make up for it um, because it makes use of ultrasound. So what it does is that it will send the ultrasound like you see here. So you will send ultrasound out and when it hits any obstacle or another animal, the sound will be reflected back, the dotted line, and it will be able to detect. So it knows uh, where there's obstacle and you will not fly right into it. Um, other animals like dolphins, sorry for the low quality. So dolphin, same thing. Dolphin will um, transmit ultrasound and if it hits any obstacle and comes back, uh, they know. So they will not again um, swim into obstacles. So dolphins use that as well. Okay, so um, take some time to watch the video on why do we hear echo. So why is it that sometimes we hear echo, sometimes we don't hear echo. So the video um, will explain. And after watching the video, take some time to discuss amongst yourself, why is it that cinema needs to have, uh, you know, when we go to the cinema, we know that there is always a thick carpet, um, you know, the wall is uh, padded. So what is the reason for doing that? Okay, so watch the video and try to answer this question. Okay, see you.